guys, this is Boy You're Here, and I'm going to read you a very special book. This book came from a very special friend. It came from a friend in our class, and his name is Edgar. Hi, Edgar. I hope you're listening to this story. Well, I love to read, guys, because every time I read, I feel like I go on an adventure. I'm either the person in the story, or I can picture just what the book is about. And I hope you guys love books as much as I love books, because we're going to read some wonderful books this year. And we always, I always take a poll to see who's, what book is your guys' favorite. Last year, my class's favorite book was The Paperback Princess, and we'll hear that soon too. But today, I'm going to share this book with you about this little boy who wants, who goes to school. School is how you know me, because I am one of your teachers, Mrs. Boyer, at your school. Right now, we don't get to meet in person because of, of COVID. But soon, very soon, we will get to come to class together, and we get, we'll get to go to lunch, and we'll get to do fun things, arts, and science. I love science, guys. I love, love, love science. Okay, so let's start this book. Ah, I just dropped it. Okay, so this book is about a little boy. And how do I know that? Well, because I look at the front cover. This is the front cover, and I see a little boy and he has a paper airplane, and I, I kind of think that this looks like a chalkboard that you might see at school. So I'm thinking, if I didn't know how to read, I'd be thinking, hmm, I think this is about a boy who goes to school. And it is, because I do know how to read. And it says, David, David, goes to school by David Shannon. Now, David Shannon is the author. That means he writes all the words in this book. And he's also the illustrator. An illustrator is somebody who draws all these wonderful pictures. An artist is an illustrator. Wouldn't it be fun to have the job as an illustrator? I think it would be. So, we always have to go over the parts of the book because that's very important for you guys to learn. So, this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And what holds the book together is called the spine. And we have a spine. Our spine is on our back. Isn't that cool? And David Goes to School is called the title of the book. There's many parts of the book, and we're going to learn them all this year. I promise. So, one more time. David Goes to School is the title. David Shannon is the author and also the illustrator, someone who draws the pictures. This is the spine, front cover, and back cover. And now we're going to start our, our adventure, David Goes to School. I'm going to turn to the title page that says, David Goes to School. And what do we see? You've got a teacher. And she has an apple on her desk. Let's see what happens in this book. David's teacher always said, No, David. No yelling, no pushing, no running in the halls. David, you're tardy. Sit down, David. David, don't chew gum in class. David, raise your hand. Keep your hands to yourself. Pay attention. Wait your turn, David. Don't care who started it. David, recess is over. Again, he has to go to the bathroom and he must have had to go a lot before because the teacher said, again, that's it, mister. You're staying after school. David, have you finished? Good 
job, David. What do you get, guys? You see that? What shape is that? <gasps> yes, it is a star. Great job, friends. You can go home now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, David. Yes, David. You can go home now. Let's talk about this book, friends. It seems like David had a hard time following the rules. Let's go through this, and I'm going to ask you guys some hard questions. Let's go back and talk about this book. It says, no yelling, no pushing, no running in the halls. Exactly. Because if everybody was yelling in our school halls, we would be able to hear anything. Pushing and running, that would hurt somebody if you fell down. And if you're late and tardy to school, then you won't get all your learning time. That's why you should always be on time. And sit down. Yes, have a seat when the teacher asks you so we can begin learning. And gum in class doesn't go. But there's sometimes we might give a Skittle or an M&M in class. Wouldn't that be awesome? And when, we, when you wanna talk and the teacher's talking, it's nice to raise your hand. That's just polite. And never touch other friends when your hands are messy. That's not nice, is it? And pay attention, because when you pay attention, you learn so much. And wait your turn. Everybody wants to eat, and you know what? We never run out of food, so just wait your turn. I'm gonna get some food from Miss Barb. That's our lunch lady. Don't ever start a food fight. Mm-mm. Messy. We'd have to take a bath, and we don't have a bath at school. And when recess is over and it's time to come in, line up, and go with your class. That's a good thing to do. And don't be yelling. Yelling hurts people's ears. And we have to go shh. And no one wants to hear shh, do ya? Oh, and when, when we, sometimes we have to go to the bathroom, and that's okay, just ask. But when we ask you to go, you should always try to go. Remember that in your brains, guys. And please don't write on our tables, because then Mr. Jim has to clean them, and maybe they won't, maybe the stuff won't come off. So let's just write right on paper. We have tons of paper that we will share with you when we see you guys in October. And but I'm so glad that he cleaned his desk up. And that's what we would ask you guys to do, too, is to help us. And the teacher gave him a star. And you know what, Mrs. Coop has? She has stamps. They're so amazing. You guys are going to love them. She got new ones with new stamp pads. I'm so excited. And the teacher says, good job, David. And you know what? I love to say good job. I say it all the time. Or I really like awesome possum. Or easy peasy lemon squeezy, you might hear me say. And every day after school, you'll get to go home and see your family. Yep. So I really enjoyed that book. And it kind of helps us go over our rules. And David's going to learn just like you guys are. Aren't books fun? Well, that's all the time I have right now, guys. But I'm going to bring you guys a new book in just a little bit about a family. And I love families because you know why? Every family is different. Nobody's family is the same. This means same. Every family is different. And we're going to learn about that. So, thanks for joining me, and I will be talking to you guys soon.